friend then how are you all doing today says if y is equal to tan inverse bracket 1 plus x square in the square root plus under root 1 minus x square upon under root 1 plus x square minus under root 1 minus x square find dy by dx. So here we are given y as tan inverse bracket under root 1 plus x square plus under root 1 minus x square upon under root 1 plus x square minus under root 1 minus x square. We need to find dy by d. Find dy by dx. Right. So, here we can put x square as cos 2 theta. Right. On doing so, we have y is equal to tan inverse under root 1 plus cos 2 theta plus under root 1 minus cos 2 theta upon under root 1 plus cos 2 theta minus under root 1 minus cos 2 theta. Now, we know that. 1 plus cos 2 theta is equal to 2 cos square theta, right? And 1 minus cos 2 theta is 2 sine square theta. Right? On using it, we have y is equal to tan inverse bracket under root 2 cos square theta plus under root 2 sine square theta upon under root 2 cos square theta minus under root 2 sine square theta. So we have tan inverse under root cos theta upon under root cos theta plus under root 2 sine to sine theta up minus in the denominator we have root 2 sine theta. On taking out root 2 common from numerator and denominator and on cancelling them we have y is equal to tan inverse cos theta plus sine theta upon cos theta minus sine theta. Now, on dividing the numerator and the denominator by cos theta, we have 1 plus sine theta upon cos theta will give us tan theta. Similarly, 1 minus tan theta. Now, y is equal to tan inverse. We can write 1 plus tan theta upon 1 minus tan theta as tan pi by 4 plus theta. So, we have y is equal to pi by 4 plus theta. Now, we substituted x squared equal to 2 cos theta, right? So, this implies the value of theta will be 1 by 2 cos inverse x squared, right? So, on using this value, here we have y is equal to pi by 4 plus 1 by 2 cos inverse x square. Now, on differentiating both the sides with respect to x, we have dy by dx equal to d by dx of pi by 4 plus d by dx of 1 by 2 cos inverse x square. So we have dy by dx equal to derivative of a constant is 0 plus this will give us 1 by 2 into minus 1 upon under root 1 minus x square here x square is r x itself, so it would be x raised to the power 4.
4 into derivative of x square which is 2x. So we have dy by dx equal to minus x upon under root 1 minus x raised to the power 4. And this is the required answer to this question. Right? So hope you understood it well and enjoyed it too. Have a nice day ahead.